Hi, I'm Heinbach. It's good to have you back. A while ago, I made a video on a piece of Soviet Cold War technology that captivated quite a few of you. I'm talking about the MN-61 wire recorder that was used in clandestine operations for military purposes or in some versions as a flight recorder. When used musically as an effect, it can produce out of this world echoes that are unheard of in any other piece of technology I've come across so far. Quite a lot of you thought the same and one request kept popping up. So I teamed up with AudioThing and together we bring you Wires, an accurate reproduction of this rare and rather complicated piece of Soviet Cold War technology. 374 and 379 common. Commando Gartenschlauch. is available now as audio unit VST and AAX format. Not on iOS, but if you are an iOS musician, stay until the end of this video. I've got another release coming later this month that you might enjoy. The main goal for me and audio thing when creating wires was to create a plugin that would do the original justice and do exactly what this does. Meaning you can take the most boring stock sounds like little plings, signs or the simple piano that comes with every door and turn it into something that gives you an immediate emotional response. If you feed it richer signals, it will transport them to a different time and space, giving them extra urgency.
I'm not known to despair. I will choose darkness for what light can I prepare? Wires also excels in post-production because you can easily dial in the sound of wearing a wire, like in clandestine operations, or you can get the sound of number stations and other weird retro sci-fi effects. <laughs> we dumped the bodies behind the old refrigerator factory. The coppers will never find them. <laughs> When modeling wires, I spent hours upon hours listening to what this machine actually does. It's not as simple as running an impulse response through that. There's so much happening dynamically that grabs the signal, morphs it and does things to it. It will make any signal come to life more. After the modeling was done, it was time to go beyond what this machine can do. So we created all kinds of features that it doesn't have. <laughs> Main one being that you can now have different delay times. And you can turn down noise because this is a noisy machine. And it's hard to use it with something like guitar. But in our plugin, you can do that easily. Now. Let's have a closer look at the functions. All right, we are in Ableton Live and I've set up a little MIDI track with operator, just the initial patch, just some simple signs, and here's wires as an effect after. Wires might be a little small, so let's bigify it, <laughs> which works actually pretty nicely. Let's start from the right, because to hear the effect, we need to use the master section. Here's an input and an output volume, and there's a mix. So if I go no effect, full effect. And one thing that's very important about wires is, and basically any piece of studio equipment is, work with the gain structure. Because we modeled the input to be exactly like the wire recorder. So it will overdrive nicely and you can see that when this light here goes on. And the same thing goes for the output. You get beautiful distortion if you up the output volume. Adjust the input and the output to your taste and you will get beautiful results. Especially if you get soft clip turned on. Of course, you can run in any other saturator behind it, but I love the soft clip included here. If we're on the right side, this is playback start and stop, which we took great care to model it to be exactly like the playback and stop on the original unit. I can do this all day. This is not your average tape stop effect. There's a lot of beautiful modulation going on and <laughs> that you can vary the speed goes of course way beyond the original version of this wire recorder. So now let me introduce you to some of the devices that we have here. First of all, this is the mic. We couldn't model the original mic because that was kind of busted. So we took one from the audio thing speaker library, which I can hardly recommend. You can notice the effect on full range signals much more easy, but it adds a nice filtering and boost. Now after that, the mic is the speaker, which is the model of the actual speaker that came with this unit. I 
I love the speaker for making things sit in the mix. Down here, we can add the noises that this machine produces. <laughs> when I use the original, I have to really, really watch the gain to not drown everything in noise. But here, you can just erase it, which is kind of like magic. So, a little more hiss and hum. And if you don't want it to drone on endlessly while you're not playing anything, hit the envelope. And it will decay. Now, here's the motor, which is exactly how the motor sound I close mic did. You get to hear how it sounds in my studio. For now, let's turn these off. Even though I suggest you always put just a touch of this in here adds a nice atmosphere. I'm gonna use the envelope again. Now here we get the interesting section. This is the wow and flutter, the drops, the clicks and the tilt equalizer. Let's add a bit of wow and flutter. Who doesn't like that? I personally like to just yeah put it a bit here and just add a bit of life and not make it too overpronounced. This drops. <laughs> it's super cool to mess up signals. Overdriving this feature. So good. And we got the clicks. Those were not easy to model. Let me tell you that. Uh, Audio Things spent a lot of time on that. I think the clicks together with the hiss and motor noise add a lovely atmosphere. You can just turn it on and, yeah, drift to that. Adjust the tilt equalizer. Tilt EQ, you have to adjust from signal to signal. I really enjoy its rather beautiful soft sound. Now let's do some echo magic. And you get these quasi endless repeats. And now let's hear how it sounds with full feedback. Watch your speakers. That's some really nice feedback behavior. I've never heard a more analog feedback in digital, which yeah makes me rather proud to have worked on this. Of course, we can have different delay times and we can sync the delays. With this little note. <laughs> Sorry. I just love this.
I made a bunch of presets that I see as suggestions for you to start from and always adjust the input and output gain to match your signal. You will get drastically different results. I like it more distorted, you might like it softer and there's a world in between. Whether you use it as a simple, beautiful echo or you want to smash up your signals, yeah, you can all do that. You can get the plugin now at a special introductory price. We better tested this plugin to hell and back, but if you find any issues, please contact Audio Thing and don't use the comment function here or email me directly. I'm not the tech guy here. I'm more of the idea and what you call it, fine tuning and yeah, listening guy with all thing. So I hope you enjoy this plugin and make some beautiful music with it. If you want, please post it in the subreddit. I'm always keen to hear what people are doing with my instruments. That's it for today. And oh, there's one more thing. <laughs> More on that later this month. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below or visit the subreddit. And thank you all for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.